getting hurt by a left hook. Giroff is having a lot of problems already trying to find a way to, to properly hit Tony. Hard right hand by Tony. Best punch of the round. Back. A lot faster and more than he normally would work. Mental pressure from round to round, like few opponents have been able to do to James Tony. Yes, yes. Hard punches by Giroff there. For him going down the stretch. And Giroff was the one who was landing combinations, and now Tony. Fighting hard off the ropes, and Giroff bangs him back into them. Yeah, Giroff is being very physical with James. Any fighter, if you can make him fight at a little bit faster pace than he normally fights, that you have a great advantage. And Tony is, I don't think, prepared for this pace. Vasily Giroff, despite a 14-month layoff, comes in and fights the first two rounds at a blistering pace. So you can see him landing the ropes down to support himself. And Vasily got the left to the belly again, and Giroff throws at close range as Tony backed him off for a moment with a right to the chest. But again, the fast pace, Giroff's hands release. Punching. So he's a good puncher. But at the pace that Giroff is setting right now, it looks pretty rough for James. There's a low blow from Giroff. Steve Smoker tells him to keep it up. Giroff lands low again. Smoker didn't see that one. Tony comes back with a body shot and a right. A lot of action here. I'm, I'm surprised that James hasn't thrown his left hook. No. And a big right hand by Tony, and Giroff keeps throwing. Although without any balance. Tony jumps on it. Fight to score. Straight right. When they trade at close range, Tony's quicker. Yes. His Tony hands are quick. Good body shot by Giroff. But the effective punches are coming from Tony. And a hard left hand by Giroff and a straight left to the belly. Drives punches to only 12 for Giroff. Power connects through three. They're about equal. 51 out of 164. Giroff. Tony. Jim, I got to tell you something that I see that I don't know if anybody else sees. James Tony is wearing a mouthpiece that just absolutely. A guy who's fought 70 fights to go into a fight with a new mouthpiece. No, he's got to know what he's doing. He may put his whole battle plan off. Just enough for James to be effective. Physical activity in round four. Favors Giroff. Tony Cat. But the real, the, the, the real key punch to me is the team. landed in a championship fight? That's Vasily Giroff. That's why we expected a great fight tonight. Uh, that's right. Two about it themselves. Good combination by Giroff in the center of the ring. Take. Body shots backing Tony off again. Good left hook by Tony. But Giroff. I'm not sure how much more Giroff can let his hands go in this situation. Takes a hard right hand and, and, you know, and, he, and, and a left and a right. Smoker's letting him go. Oh, what a display of counter shots by James uh, Tony. This is brilliant stuff. Solid shots from Tony. Giroff taking him well and coming, coming forward. right back. Giroff has never up, backed up. Stay up. Come on, make it work. Giroff only knows one way to fight. He comes straight forward, digging to the belly, taking shots upstairs. And I wonder if Tony's strength and stamina are going to hold up against Giroff. 757, three rounds apiece. I got it all even to this point. All the, all the odd rounds to James Tony, all the even rounds. Lest you think that Vasily, it could be Vapitinsky back in Kazakhstan saying, well, I didn't tell him about that. Yeah, but so far, it seems like he's withstood all of it and continually come right back and got the, the best of every one of the exchanges at the tail end of it. Brilliant 
tough, accurate counter punching by Tony, who lands a big get to Tony's bread basket. Huge mouthpiece. <laughs> it is. For James Tony. Short, short right hand. Play now. A brand new partnership with Southern California real estate mogul Ronnie Tudor. And he's built the whole organization around his belief that James Tony is going to rise back to my James was to say, James, I'm going to ride. Jirov having another big round now. James is fighting a good fight, but James doesn't want to fight at this tempo. Big left hook for Tony. Yes, yeah, James is getting hit on his shoulders, his elbows, everywhere. Somehow or another, I just can't take it away from the effective aggressiveness of Vasily Giro. 5 3, 1 even, 86 84, Vasily Giro. And it basically is becoming forward, giving the punching. Round eight, by the way, becomes 9 9. So Giro won the round 10 9. Take a break and lay back for a minute. Tony will take complete control. Right hand by Tony wobbled Jirov. Jirov takes three more shots in a row. Tony's big opportunity right here. Yes, it is. This is the best. This has been a big round for Tony. Defensive <laughs> fight from both fighters. Big left hook. Tony, 44 out of 77. 60% of his punches. So clear. Ninth round, totally exhausted, and comes back and fights such a great fight the 10th round. It's just a warrior inside of him. And he's got it. Tony not throwing back. Chirov has no energy. And he backs out of the corner on his own. Now James begins to counter again and catches Giroff with a big uh, left hook. Yeah. Here goes Giroff back to the body. Oh, oh this is a good fight here. And the thing about it, Giroff can box when he wants to. Out of it at the end of the 10th, he has come. But he's never, never backed up. Even when he was hurt, he comes right back in. 103, 6, 4, 1 even, the center. I mean, there's no question that this ring is wet. Now, James' experience is coming through now. Oh, my God, look at this.